And here were the Bulls earlier, filling into the arena. A serious look on their faces, knowing it always takes a big effort to pick up a road win in the NBA. The serene atmosphere here in downtown Motor City, the site of tonight's matchup. And welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Brand new season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. Hi everyone, this is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Grant Hill and Chris Weber, and the fourth member of our crew, Allie LaForce. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Chicago Bulls. On Tuesday, they head back home to host the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Friday, the New Orleans Pelicans come to town. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Allie, wouldn't that be something? Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players right now? Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean, look, the offseason can be a long one, but every player loves when the games really start to count. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Patrick Williams. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward position. Go. And for Detroit, Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Cunningham is out there with Hayes. And it's Olenek in at the center position. Now here's Hayes. Pass to Grant. To the paint. Here's Olenek. He can't hit that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's DeRozan. He's covered by Bay. Ball left side. Levine with it. From deep three-point range. That shot off the mark. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Here's Cunningham. Covered by Vucevic. And it's Cunningham missing. Levine against Hayes. And Williams punches it home. Well, because he's so dangerous, the D is often drawn to Levine. I mean, it, it opens up some wide passing lanes for him. And Zach Levine just continues to refine his game. His shot selection has really improved. He's much more choosy on when he shoots. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. Ball passes to Levine. And stolen by Hayes. Here we go. Ball's going up the court. That's good from Grant. On the assist by Hayes. Yeah, just get open. Hayes will find you. I mean, the kid, he has tremendous vision. You know, while Levine is picking up his spots a bit more, he is still the guy for this team late in games. He really is. I mean, he can create a shot for himself any trip down the floor. He's been the de facto leader for a while for this Bulls club. And nobody else has as much experience on late game shots. Oh, Zach Levine. He's already won multiple dunk contests. How about another? Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Cunningham, hounded by Ball. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Cunningham. Well, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Pass to Vucevic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. One thing you got to love about Nikola Vucevic is that on offense, he does it all. For a big, he's got a terrific three-point shot. And of course, he regularly posts big point totals. Vucevic taking two shots. Shooting two. Okay. 
And he drops the first. Well, there's no denying that Vucevic's offensive output really makes him a great example of a modern big. Yeah, his abilities at long range definitely help stretch the floor. But he can also be an old-school menace down low, gobbling up rebounds and owning the paint. And so Vucevic nails both of them. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on the stroke. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Cunningham, covered by Vucevic. Clock at six. And that one's good. Cunningham attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Here's Ball. Pass to DeRozan. Here's an eight-footer. Rebound Detroit. They really struggled against this team last year, despite having comparable talent. I mean, they got swept in the season series. And here's Olenek. Here's Cunningham. Baseline jumper. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Zach Levine. Well, that was clearly a foul. First team foul. Hey, Cunningham. At the line for two. First free throw is good. So for the Pistons. Stewart, he's checked in for Olenek. Diallo comes in for Bay. And it's Jackson in for Hayes. And so he makes both from the line. Oh, not many players with a more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Pass to Caruso. Here's Bradley. Stewart defends. Here's Bradley. Shoots over Stewart. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. The Pistons have gone four of six in the first quarter. Two minutes remaining in the Here's Cunningham. He's got six. Doesn't go in. Two for four in this game. Chicago trailing here. 146 left in the first. And it's Caruso on the take. Outside, Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. He shoots. The rebound by Diallo. Piston shooting right around 57%. Very efficient so far in the first. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter. Stewart finds Jackson. And again, the Pistons missing. The Bulls have gone three of six since the tip. It's Brown on the wing. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Ball. Lee, he's checked in now for the Pistons. He's on the floor for your Pistons. Saving Lee. One oh three left in the first quarter here. Pass to Graham. Back to Lee. Throws it up high. Oh, Grant throws it down. Get it, Joe. Great feed, great finish. Grant's gotten all three of his shots to fall. Three for three. Here's Bradley. He 
Here's Caruso. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Pass to Stewart. Now Jackson. And he makes it on the layup. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Now here's White. Outside, Brown. The kick out to White. 4-3. The Pistons clear it. Grant outside. The shot no good. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Pistons ahead. They lead by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And guys, what you take on the Pistons so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi, KD. All of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. They're just all great. On the court for Chicago. Derek Jones is out there with Tony Bradley. Then it's Kobe White. Then it's Alex Caruso. And it's Brown in at the three. The small forward. Pass to Lee. And here's Stewart. The three. Diallo gets the three ball to go. Diallo's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Here's Caruso. The shot won't fall. And Detroit will go the other way with it. To the middle. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. 6-8. You add in his hops. Grant's got no problems dunking it on you. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. for the Pistons. Bay comes in for Diallo. And a moment to check out the 2K leaderboard. Here were the best rebounders last season. Fifth best, Nikola Vucevic. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They trail by nine. Here's Ball. That's in there. Vucevic with the assist. That, that added muscle helping Lonzo over there looking stronger and more confident on these takes. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Ali. No question. Levine. Not just a shooter. I mean, Levine is also willing to burrow himself inside and go to work. 
Well, Zach Levine, the UCLA product, I mean, he has continued to improve over time. He's now a bona fide star. Pass to lead. Back to Joseph. Six on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Hey, no good. Chris, you think back to the injuries Levine has had to overcome. It's amazing where he is now. He showed mental fortitude. He's still an elite oh, athlete. But the sky's the limit for him. That's just Assistant the product of good pass work. I mean, nice Levine. team basketball right there. Bay against DeRozan. Bay outside. Lee on the wing. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got four rebounds now. Here's DeRozan. And Chicago again with a bucket. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Here's Lee. Covered by Vucevic. Lee misses. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Ball no good. The Pistons leading. Bay outside. Pass to Joseph. Driving inside. Here's Lee. On the wing, Bay. Defended by DeRozan. Bay, no good. The Bulls on offense. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Williams. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Levine. Levine's got three assists now in this one. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. for the Pistons. Jackson, he's checked in for Stewart. Hayes comes in for Joseph. And Cunningham subbed in for Lee. Here's Cunningham. He's got six. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Bay outside. Into the lane. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line for your Pistons. Bay, Sadiq, Bay. Two shots. And he makes a first. And so Bay nails both of them. The Bulls on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. Ball passes to Levine. Jackson against DeRozan. Back to Levine. Over Hayes. And Levine gets it to go. On the assist by DeRozan. Levine's got six. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Pass to Jackson. Levine against Hayes. Oh, there's the alley! These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Outside Levine. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. That one no good. Detroit has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Pass to Olenek. 
The teardrop. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Ball. Rebounded by the Pistons. Just one point separating the teams. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Ball. There's 25 seconds left in the half. Hayes in the high post. Just five on the clock. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. His first personal foul. Bulls substitution. And here are the Bulls now. They trail by one. Outside Levine. From outside the arc. Can't get it to drop. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Pistons ahead, up by one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with Billy Donovan and Coach. You look at the team's execution defensively. Are you pleased with what you saw? I thought we defended well. I think the problem was we fouled too much. You know, had some turnovers that we wish we'd have had back. But overall, I think when we were settled in the half court, we defended well. Coach hoping they can stay settled in in the second half, guys. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? They've been fierce at the defensive end, causing turnovers, coming up with key stops. That's the result of great communication and trust between people. Hard to score on them when they're playing like this. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion of their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. One of the stories here, Jeremy Grant. Man, is he getting it done today? They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Chicago trailing here. Inside, Grant and Olenek. Hayes is out there with Cunningham. And it's Bay in at the three. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Levine for three. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Levine's got nine. But we've seen the evolution of Zach Levine's three-point shooter. He's gained confidence behind the arc. He makes an impact from long range. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Bay. Shot clock at five. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Patrick Williams. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Detroit. Bay. Sadiq. Bay. Shooting one. One shot. A tight one here in Detroit. Pass to Vucevic. Back to Levine. 
Back to Vucevic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Bulls lead by one. And what a wild one this has been. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes, too. Bay outside. Pass to Hayes. Grant in the post, working on Vucevic. Grant's shot is off. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything it can. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Well, there's an annual survey of NBA executives. Going into last season, the Pistons were selected for worst offseason. But with the promise of their young players, guys, some optimism that the rebuild in the Motor City is off to a strong start. Physical, defensive-minded, Ali. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? Now here's Levine. He's got 11. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Takes a 13-footer and misses it off the right side of the rim. Now that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. Hayes against Williams. Outside Olenek. Six to shoot. Here's Cunningham. Oh, the turnaround jumper counted. Cunningham's got his third bucket of the night. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Ball finds DeRozan. Oh, Lennox with some nice D. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. Ball. That's his first personal foul. Team second. That's the line for your Pistons. K. Cunningham. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good for the Pistons. Stewart, he's checked in for Olenek. Diallo comes in for Bay. And it's Jackson in for Hayes. He's perfect from the line this time. The Bulls have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Ball passes to White. Now here's Brown. Ball outside. Pass to Vucevic. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Vucevic has got six. You can make the case. This is Ball's best skill. A phenomenal passer in the pick and roll. Jackson outside. Diallo with the ball. And here's Jackson. Shot clock at six. Detroit, no good that time either. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Grant with a steal. Here's Cunningham. Ten points for him. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, the defender really went after him. First free throw is good. Chicago making some changes. Bradley comes in for Vucevic. And it's Caruso in for ball. Oh, 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. For Chicago, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Brown. Outside Jones. Here's Caruso. Here's Bradley. Stewart defends. Clock at six. Here's Caruso. Hits the front of the rim and out. For Detroit, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Here's Cunningham. He's guarded by White. And that one's drained from the low block. Cunningham's got eight here in this quarter. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety valve. Pass to Caruso. On the take. There's the block. Now here's Grant. Jones grabs the board. 1-11 left in the third quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Oh, clear for takeoff. Kobe White, the 6'4 guard, has some lift. Here's Cunningham. 14 points for him. No good there. For Chicago, they've gone 5 for 9 from the floor in the third quarter. Here's White. And the layup is good off the glass. White's gotten his second bucket of the game. Here, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Here in the second half, this game's still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Now here's White. Bradley inside. Defended by Jackson. Bradley, that's good. And the Bulls lead by one. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Cunningham. Shoots over White. And it's Cunningham missing. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Bulls up by one. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Moments ago, from the huddle, let's listen in on Dwayne Casey. Possession by possession. The only way we're going to get back in this thing. Starting right now. Possession by possession. Let's stay together. That's all we got, baby. It's our fight and pride. Right here. Here we go. One play at a time. On, Simple man. message from Coach Dwayne Casey. Yeah, it's smart that Coach Casey is doing this. Realizing that this is the only way they're going to snatch the lead. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Bulls, we've got Zach Levine. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Nikola Vucevic. Then it's Kobe White, and it's Caruso in at the one. Now here's DeRozan. Here's Levine for three. Rebound by Olenek. Here's Lee. Pass to Bay. Back to Lee. Now here's Diallo. And Vucevic with the block. Chicago trailing here. To the wing, right side. Here's Caruso. Left side white. That shot off. Oh, Lennox with some nice D. Here's Lee. Yep, that one's good. Lee's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Levine against Diallo. Here's DeRozan. 
He can't get it to go. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Diallo. Here's Olenek. Drops in the layup for two. And the Pistons lead by five. Oh, I love that aggressiveness from Olenek. I mean, he can create his own offense. I mean, we all know that. But that time, with a little cleanup work. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. But yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Brands checked in for Diallo. Hayes comes in for Jackson. And Joseph is subbed in for Lee. Williams is checked in for Chicago. Ball comes in for Caruso. Hey guys, Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He told them victory was within their grasp, saying, quote, you've got all the tools you need to win. Now it's about closing. Guys, we'll see if they're up for the task. Now here's Hayes. Grant outside. Bay. Shoots over Levine. Bay, no good. For Chicago, they've got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. A clear look for Vucevic. And that one off the Nikola back of the rim and in. The sure stroke of Vucevic when he added that three-point shot in his sixth season. He has loads of trust in his jumper. And here's Bay. Grant outside. Here's Joseph, covered by Vucevic. And that one's good. Joseph, in crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Ball with it. Pass to DeRozan. Count it. Yeah, man. DeRozan is fired up. These situations just fuel his competitiveness. Here's Joseph. Grant outside. Back to Joseph. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And there's the foul. It'll go on DeMar DeRozan. That's, That's his first foul. first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Cunningham's checked in for the Pistons. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. Here's Cunningham. Pass to Olenek. Here's Cunningham. Now here's Bay, defended by DeRozan. Bay against Williams. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Pistons. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. Something else they've done a lot tonight is take advantage of any gaps in the D with quick, aggressive drives down the lane. And he knocks down the first one. gets them both. 
The Bulls have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Two minutes remaining in the To the game. inside. Two. Minutes. And Vucevic gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. 156 left in the fourth quarter. Williams against Grant. Got a piece of it. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Inside. Here's Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. <laughs> Oh, you're right, and I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be game-changing. Now here's Ball. Outside Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Levine. To the paint. Here's Vucevic. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. For Detroit. They've gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Hayes. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Pistons lead by three. And look at Hayes stepping up and delivering the big buck. That's got to be real. Vucevic. Oh, Lenick with some nice D. The Pistons have gone five of 11 so far in the fourth. Puts it up from 12. Another shot. Money. Oh, and just a nice momentum buck here, Harlan. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They trail by five. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Balance player of the game, Lonzo Ball. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Levine against Hayes. Rebounded by the Pistons. Oh, he found open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Wait. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Team second. And now we've got an intentional foul. Wait. His fourth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Pistons. Hey. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. Look, he possesses great size in his position. And Hayes has the tools to be a real weapon. It's just up to him to keep improving. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point game. Jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Timeout, timeout, timeout called timeout. here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They trail by seven. 29 seconds left in the game. Hey, the free team now who is the flawless? Look who's coming on to the court. Come on, get back. 
29 seconds left to play in the fourth. Oh, the trifecta! You know what that is? That's Levine stepping up. Zach's rolled into his role during his time. In the and that's an intentional foul. His fifth personal foul. Team four. At the line for Detroit, Jerome. Grant. At the line for two. Shoot two. Drops the first one, and that puts him up five. He was born into a basketball family. I played with, with his uncle. When Jeremy Grant has paved his own path, becoming a highly sought-after wing. He secured the bag. Oh, yeah. $60 million contract in 2020. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Uh, uh, yeah, they've got to get into the play fast and execute. It's your only hope. It's stolen by Olenek. And so they foul intentionally. He can't be happy with fouling out, but the game seems out of reach anyways. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Oh, well, it's tough, man. When you get to this point in the game, you fought hard, did your best, but it just wasn't enough. Here's Joseph. And so it's Detroit with the W. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.